What's up everybody? Monica Barnes from Monica Barnes Art. I am actually doing a painting, a uh, resin painting on top of a resin painting that I do not like. This thing is ugly. That's all I got to say. So I am doing a painting on top of it. I'm actually going to do similar colors. I have red, black, gold, and white. That's it. I'm going to do a puddle pour, spread it out, and hope for the best. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, so I used East Coast Epoxy. I used 8 ounces of the hardener to 8 ounces of the resin. I mixed them together for 3 minutes, and I got my resin. I did pour the extra resin that I did not make colors out of onto my canvas, so that's wet right now. I mixed my colors up. I'll put in the description below what I used, and now I'm going to do my pour. I'm actually going to do like a different kind of pour, because I just don't want like a circle in the middle. And I'm just doing each color over and over again. Try not to put too much black because black does kind of overpower everything. What did I use? Black, red. Oh, I did it wrong, didn't I? Don't, I guess it doesn't matter whatever order I do it in. Just have a little bit more red this time. I think this is going to be my last layer here. Pour it on and my white. That's it. Now I'm going to heat it up, move it around, and hope for the best. Trying to pop all the bubbles. I do have a respirator on, so sorry if I sound funny. That heater keeps running as it cools. So right now I'm just going to move this around. I don't want to mud up the colors, so I don't want to move them too fast like I almost did. Man, this thing is shimmering. So pretty. That's the difference between ink and mica. Everybody asks me, why do you use those powders? What do those powders do that acrylic paint can't? Well, acrylic paint, even when you put the acrylic shimmer into the paint, it doesn't really, I don't know, it just doesn't do what this does totally different you get different effects with mica you get different colors different movement it's just a, a totally different thing i hate using acrylic i really do i mean it is cheap and that's how i started but once you switch and and find that you can use other products try to do it it is a little bit more expensive absolutely but you get such cool results from it 
better results. Cool, they're really awesome. Oh my God, I love this oh, down here. Man, this is pretty. Okay, come on, baby. I'm just gonna try to tilt it a little bit more to hit that corner, although there is color there. I want my color to be there ah, without ruining it, which I think I'm doing. Okay, now I'm gonna do it the other way and hit this corner. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go. Finally! Okay, we got it. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty, right? It's just not even that much of anything. It's just... It's pretty. Oh, my fingers just left the mess, didn't they? <laughs> Usually, with the excess that's on my table, I always have coasters nearby, and I always, when I'm done, get the coaster and just lay it in there, and I got coasters for somebody. I always do save a little bit. I try to, almost always, try to save a little bit of ink in my cups, even if it's just a very little bit. I try to do that so I can uh, add to it when I'm done. If, if it's not, like if I need more color somewhere, like right now, I'm thinking it needs a little bit more pop of something. Really truly don't believe it needs more white, but I'm just gonna throw a little bit there. Maybe just a pop of black and we'll be good. Right up against that gold. Wow, I love the effects that I got. They're amazing. Wait till you guys see this up close. I'm gonna show you. Very pretty. Yeah, I'm glad I wore these wrist things today. Damn bug. I'm going to just a little bit more gold up here and we'll be good. Now this is way prettier than what was there, that's for sure. Now, this is how I just push the colors over top of each other. Oh, I love this. A little bit more flow. I want it to blend just a little bit better. A little bit better. Yep, I like it a lot, actually. Quick and easy, right? Okay, so. The first time wasn't so quick and easy. This time I like, I like it a lot, actually.
Here we go. This is the finished piece. I'm trying to raise money so I could buy a big shed so I could have my art studio in there instead of in my husband's garage because dust flies all over my artwork. Even though we have a dust-free zone in here whenever he starts the lawnmower or his car, it tends to fly everywhere. So reach out to me. I have coasters, paintings, whatever you want to see. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let me do it this way. Maybe that'll help better. I like it. I like the movement of it. I think it's very pretty. It's up close. You can see some of the colors underneath that make it really, really good. I like it a lot. That will definitely give it a really cool 3D effect when it's cured. Look at that texture. Wow, that webbing is amazing. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate y'all stopping by to watch my video. Thanks so much. Have a great day.